So here's a proposal. I'm going to give a point every time the learner answers a question correctly. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. So you basically get credit for being right. The learner gets credit. The learner gets credit for being right. Okay. I'm also going to give plus one to the teacher. And for the teacher, I'm also going to give them credit plus one every time the learner answers correctly. Good. So their, their incentives are aligned. Yes, their incentives are aligned. The learner gets credit for demonstrating they've learned, and the teacher gets credit for demonstrating they at least know something. So what do you think is going to happen here? The learner's happy getting answers right, and the teacher's happy when the learner gets answer, answers right. So they should work together to maximize, I guess not necessarily learning, but um, you know, ask easy questions. If you ask easy questions, then the learner wins and the teacher wins. That's exactly right, I think. So I, hopefully that makes sense. So if, let's say, this question or questions way down here are so easy that anybody can get them right, then if I ask questions down here, the learner will get them right. Mm. So that's good for the learner. But also because the learner will get them right, that's good for the teacher. Right, but that doesn't seem to really make sense for this problem in that we really want to be asking questions roughly at the level where the learner is. Well, that makes sense. Well, let me ask you one other question. Before we get there, let me ask you uh, one other uh, possibility. Since this doesn't give us what we want, right? Mm -hmm. um, basically, this says uh, always stick to easy questions. Right. And we'll both do well. What happens if I say, oh, okay, well, the problem here is I've incentivized the learner in a way that kind of makes sense, right? Learner wants to get questions correct right. answers, get yeah. questions right. But I've incentivized the teacher to go easy on the student. So why don't I make it so that the teacher loses a point every time the student gets something right? Oh. So now the, t the, s the teacher is not incentivized just to give easy questions. What's mm. going to happen here? Well, part of me feels like that, no, like it just seems like the, the, that the right thing for the teacher to do then from the teacher's perspective is give hard questions. The learner should try to answer them, but the learner's not going to be able to answer. Right. So what I should do is just immediately go to all the really, really hard questions about dinosaurs. You can't answer them. Mm. You don't have the background. And, you know, there's sort of fundamental math and calculus to answer the questions about dinosaurs. <laughs> and so you're going to keep getting them wrong. But the teacher is going to do just fine. And, in fact, not only will the teacher lose a point every time the learner answers something correctly, let's say actually the, the teacher gets a point every time the learner um, answers incorrectly, which is sort of the same thing. Yeah. But allows me to say the teacher racks up points yes. um, by making you do things that are wrong. Okay? So this is just kind of broken. Right. Yeah. The, the kind of obvious thing to do here where I'm going to give the student credit for demonstrating things, demonstrating they've learned things, they have knowledge and give the teacher um, credit for either demonstrating that the student has knowledge or doesn't have knowledge gives me bad answers. And in particular, it doesn't help me with the goal of learning. It doesn't help the student and it doesn't help the teacher. It just gives them whatever credit they're supposed to get when they can bother to get it. Well, so if, okay, if, if the teacher getting plus one for the learner getting something correctly ended up making things too easy mm -hmm. and a minus one made things too hard, then right in the middle is a zero. So right. what about the teacher get zero for the learner answering correctly? Well, the teacher gets zero for the learner answering correctly and it doesn't matter what the teacher does. So maybe the teacher can do the right thing now. But why? It's just like the Coco example you're giving before. What reason do I have? And we certainly don't want the student giving the teacher side payment. <laughs> <laughs> Although, <laughs> would that work in this case? No, because now the, the learner would want to get to maximize the side payments. Then we're back to the original problem that you said, which is if the teacher's paid off for correct for the learner giving correct answers, then um, then the questions are just going to end up being too easy to be meaningful. That's right. And there's really no side payment for the, the teacher to give the student. But you said something earlier that I really like. Uh, you said, um, what did you say? You said, some, before we went down this path of the minus one and, and getting hard questions, you said something about what the, the teacher ought to be doing. The teacher ought to be asking questions, I don't know, so that the, the learner's kind of getting half of them right? So I like that. So let, let's, let's sort of take a step back and, and kind of see what that would sort of mean. 